Hey all, this RH tutorial is going to show you how to turn a black and white painting into a full color painting using blend modes in two separate layers. And two reasons for this. Reason one, you might be working with a client that says, hey, I want this illustration of this girl. She's wearing like a race car, you know, outfit or whatever. And I want it to be complementary color scheme with orange and blue. And you do that, you paint it, you put all the time into it, you design the color palette and you give it to the client. They say, hmm, pretty close, but I want that blue to be a little different. Sure, you can go into your Photoshop image editor and you can kind of adjust the colors a little bit. But an easier and kind of, kind of cool way to do this a little faster is just to paint it in black and white and then using a blend mode, which I'll show you in just a minute, you can put your color layer as a separate layer and then make quick adjustments to that layer alone, leaving all the values that you painted intact. And that's a fast, fast way to work. It's also cool for artists like me who aren't, aren't, I'm not the kind of artist who just has a crystal clear vision of where I wanna go when I sit down and paint. I usually just sort of feel it out and there's a sort of intuitive response that happens when I just start painting. And for me, it's nice to have some flexibility when I work, so I like it. I like flexibility. I also like it, especially when I'm working with clients. Um, so this setup that for your workflow is, is I think a time saver, but the most important reason to do this painting in black and white is because it's good for you. It's good for you as an artist. It's good for you as a painter. It helps you see value without the distraction of color because sometimes we can hide behind poorly. We can hide a poorly painted painted painting behind some really, really pretty color schemes. And that's not good for us in the long term. And that's not a crush we want to have to lean on for very long. So painting in black and white is good for you as an artist. It's good for you to figure out the design, light direction, and the value structure before you start working with color. It's something that my favorite artists all do, whether they're plein air painters or whether they're um, you know, digital artists or whatever, you can, you can be out in the forest and you can have your sketchbook and you can still do a black and white study before you get out your paint. And then that's super good for you and, and it always pays off. Always, always, always. Real quick though, I'm gonna show you what the warp tool does in Outrage 5. It's a cool way to adjust your proportions and kind of drag your image around. I had her arm was a little bit too short so I can quickly adjust that without having to do any redrawing. That's a feature of Outrage 5. But here you can see I added a new layer and when that layer was set to normal, all the orange paint and the blue paint was just laying on top. But as soon as I change that blend mode to tint, you can immediately see all the values that I designed underneath. And now you've turned that black and white image into a full color image, literally at the click of a button. And like I said, the best thing about it is the versatility. Um, you get the practice of painting your values and then you get the, the flexibility of adding color as a separate layer with all the adjustments that you can make to that layer individually. So, um, I hope you can see the value of this process and this workflow. It saves you time, it gives you just another way of working, and it's also just kind of something that can um, encourage a, you know, good habits around being an artist. And good habits when you're, uh, whether even you're a professional or an amateur, just to have that practice of working black and white first, but knowing that that's not where the picture has to land, that there's a real easy way to transition from that black and white image into a color, full color image, and, um, and the flexibility along the way. This is something that I continue to be inspired by, by the artists that I follow on social media and some of my best friends who are artists locally, is, is how, how they never stop studying. They're never done with anything. And so um, you might think, oh, well, you know, I've been an artist for 10 years. Why would I need to do a black and white study before I sit down and work? But the really great artists, they do that. And, and there's a reason why. And so just um, wanted to show you this process, the flexibility of it, um, talk a little bit about just those fundamentals and um, give you a little, little insight into how I work sometimes when I need a little extra flexibility. Something you'll see too is I have layer four. Here's an overlay layer, which I'm using to paint sort of the bright highlights and dark shadows. Um, overlay acts as sort of a multiplier of the lights and the darks. So I use that for a little extra punch, pushing those lights and darks. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for checking it out. And I hope you learned a little bit too. Take care. Thanks for checking out the video. This is the kind of stuff I really like to do. You can find more of it on my YouTube, my Instagram, and my Twitch channel by searching Mambo Bomb or Daniel.